Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with a video tutorial. And today I'm gonna to be showing you about the Pro Q3's new Spectrum Grab feature and how to use it to isolate a problem and then use the new dynamic EQs to fix it. Uh, we're gonna be essentially DSing a track, but I think along the way of doing this, you're gonna find out about the Spectrum Grab feature and you know also how to use the dynamic EQs. So you're gonna be learning about the Pro Q3 and some of its new features and also how to DS a vocal, in fact. So this is the vocal. Bright enough. And it's got a really harsh S. It's, well, it's not really an S, but it's a T, which is the same. It's sibilance, right? And it's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and loop it. So we're going to be able to hear it over and over and over again. Brighten up, brighten. And the new feature inside of here, well, there's actually two we're going to cover, as I already said. We're going to cover the dynamic EQ, but the other one is called Spectrum Grab. And you turn it on inside of the analyzer down here. If you click right here, then click right here. This is the spectrum grab. And if I let the audio play and hover my mouse in the bottom end of the spectrum here, it's actually gonna freeze the peaks and show me kind of areas where I might wanna pay attention to. And watch what happens to that sibilant spot inside of the audio. You see it? See the peak right there? This is where the problem is. So what I can do is click right there and just drag down now, boom. And now I've added my filter to that spot and I didn't need to worry about it. Now I can come in and use any of the features for that filter node that you know the Pro-Q3 has at my disposal. Brighten up, brighten up, brighten. So now I can go in and actually use the features from the Pro-Q3, including, including the Dynamic EQ to fix that issue. But having that Spectrum grab has made it very, very easy for me to isolate that issue inside of the Spectrum. So that's so dope. So I'm gonna click right here to bring up my controls. And first of all, I'm you know, pulling it way down, um, maybe open it up just a tad. And then to engage the Dynamic EQ inside of the Pro-Q3, and, and any of the filter nodes can have, and you can have up to 24 filter nodes, is just to click the outside ring right here and pull down. So now I'm gonna be attenuating after the audio crushes the threshold. Brighten up, brighten up, brighten up, brighten up, brighten up, brighten up. And it's actually doing a really good job, but if I think the auto Threshold isn't working. I can just click the auto button right here and then come in and actually go ahead and change the threshold. Brighten up, 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 brighten up. And that's doing really, really good now. So I'm just getting the peak when the peak happens. Other than that, I'm letting the EQ node essentially do no cutting at all. It's cutting about a dB, but if I wanted to you know, just double click and hit zero, I could do that too. And then it's really pulling it down once that uh, audio crosses the threshold to remove that harsh sound. So let's go ahead and AB it to see what it sounds like. Brighten up, 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 brighten up. So it's very surgical and it's night and day. It sounds so much better, it sounds so much smoother, it sounds less harsh on my ears, and it's doing exactly what it wants. And it has all to do with that spectrum grab and now the new dynamic EQ nodes inside of the Pro-Q3. So that is by no means uh, all that's new or the only thing you can do with the new features, but I just wanted to share that with you to show you a couple of the new ones that I'm really excited about. So anyway, I'm Joshua Casper here. I hope you learned something. Links in the video description if you want to check out the Pro-Q3. Highly suggest it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.